Greetings escapers! If you didn't know, Interchange did get an overhaul last week and it has some new features. Plenty of people jumped into queues giving this map a go, but the real question for all the rat players out there is how profitable is Interchange when you play as a scav? Short answer is you should get around 473,396.3 rubles on average, but as with almost anything in life, it's more situational than that. Interesting to listen more? Then without further ado, let's crack straight- Hmm. Fuck. My little experiment was performed on 14 and 15 of March on the newest 12.4 patch. The idea was simple, get in as a scav, get as much as you can and get out. I did a total of 30 scav raids, I survived 20 and died 10 times. In the end, all those stunts don't matter, but I'm telling you anyway. Nah, just kidding. It's important because of three reasons. First one is flea market prices. When you watch this video, some items I looted may be worthless. Second thing is unusual but understandable higher chance to meet other players' calf, so I had to fight more for loot and there was less loot overall left on the map. The last important factor was very short time to loot. Right now you can load as a scav and have 11 minutes left before right ends. It's because BSG made some band-aid solutions to overload servers and shortened right timers. In the past you would load in with 20 to 30 minutes left and that would give you plenty of time to loot good stuff. That's why in some pictures I will show you in a second you will see some random stuff in my inventory. I just had to run to the spot, take what is there and go for extract. Oh, and one more thing. I encountered plenty of people going to extract at the same time with me and they were not extract camp. It's just a reality of how interchange plays out right now, so be extra careful when extracting. So how it all look from the numbers perspective? If you are more lucky and you will spawn with timer higher than 10 minutes, you should on average get around 400k rubles worth of items and that's with medic or items. If you are more lucky and get something big, you can get away with 1 million or more. You can find that PMC with gear or drop him yourself or you can find one of the jackpot items on this map. GP worth around 300k or Tetris that trade for physical bitcoin worth around 140k. There are also some static spawns for fuel conditioners worth 90k each or you can find dry fuel going going for around 120k at the moment. One hidden value item worth mentioning is Expeditionary Fuel Tank that sells for 80k as empty can because it's used as crafting ingredient in hideout. If you factor in also fuel worth, that's an extra 53k and you get 130k item, so 33k per slot item. Let's also mention the new clothes materials used as a barter items. They spawn in all clothes stores and are mostly not worth your time. The only one with value is Cordura going for 40k, so 20k per slot. I picked some of those items when looting just for future quests if I ever decide to do them. I also got one big hit in one of the raids. I found ultra medical storage key in jacket and that bad boy is selling for around 17 millions at the moment. I did not include it in my calculations, but make sure to check jackets. They can spawn all keys in the game. If you are less lucky and spam with a short right timer, then you may not get much. The worst case for me was 193,265 rubles. It's not terrible, but nothing amazing either. One thing you can do in situation like that, and when you spawn outside the mall, is just going for hidden stashes on map outskirts. It seems many people still don't know about them or just ignore them, but you can find some nice stuff there. Last thing you should have in mind is that we are also very late in wipe cycle, so many items lost a lot in value. Early wipe interchange shine the most. At the start of this wipe you could sell items like wires and bolts for 30k each and they are very common find. Not saying about stuff like nails going for 100k etc. Now that most of the people are done with hideout upgrades, prices dropped hard. My advice would be, no matter how green other maps looks like, <coughs> no reason. don't you dare to underestimate sleeping giant that is interchange. Alright, that's all I have in this video. I hope it answers some questions for you guys. One thing I'm curious to hear from all the diehard reserve fans is what are your profits when you do the map as a scav. Also sorry for my voice in this video, I'm a little sick, hopefully not with the virus with the name you should not speak about on YouTube. Thanks for watching and see you in raids.